Hello and welcome to episode 10 of the Smash Ultimate Modding Workshop. I'm super excited for this one, as I think this is some of the coolest stuff that you can learn. I'll be talking about how to transition into different moves, and showing some of the different applications of it. The main function we'll be using is status module, change status request from script. There's also ones called change status request, and change status force, but I prefer request from script. Its parameters are a bit different from some other functions. It takes a BOMA, but when you specify which move to transition into, you must put dot into after it. You also need false into as the third parameter. If you see what I did here, I made k rule up smash automatically transition into f tilt 24 frames in. And as you can see, it works great. I mean, it doesn't really combo or anything. Maybe if I put the transition a little bit earlier. But I don't, I don't know, it looks like a faint or a fake out. Now, for aerials. Aerials work a little differently, so I'll demonstrate with them. The code I've written will detect an A button press on frame 60 of up B. If A is pressed, it then checks if K rule is above 50%. If K rule is under 50, it'll transition into Nair, and if he's above, it'll transition into up air. There's actually only one status kind for all aerials, and it changes to different aerials depending on which way the left stick is held. To override it, we can use this function, which will set the type of aerial attack in advance. We can sub out HI for LW, F, or B for dare, fair, and bear, respectively. Now, when I press A when doing up B, I do nair. But if I'm over 50%, no matter what, it'll always be up air. There's actually another way to transition into other moves, and it's called fighter.change status. Note that it doesn't take a BOMA, the fighter at the beginning is telling the game to run it on the current fighter. This also cannot be changed, so it's more of a rare way of doing it. I'll go over it briefly in the next episode, which is about fighter frames. I think it's the singular most important thing to learn, so I'm super excited to teach it. Either way, the code that I just wrote will, of course, be in item 1 of the description. I hope this helped, and happy modding!